Well, I'm sure everybody would like to join me in wishing Peter all our love and loads of best wishes as he starts his new life with Terry and Jill. Oh, you want me to cuss it? I've never had a good luck on your new life cake before. I quite like to keep it, you know, sort of as it is. Oh, go on, Peter. Have a slice. I made it special. <laughs> Okay, champ. Oh, you're taking a photograph of your old bedroom with you. Oh, no. This isn't my bedroom here. This is my new bedroom at Jim and Terry's house. But it's just like my old room. Duke helped me move in. Look. I put the bed, the chest, plus all my stuff in exactly the same place as it was here. <laughs> now, when I move, it won't feel like anything has changed. <laughs> <laughs> Full of garlic. Full moon, isn't it? Garlic is the most proven way of seeing off vampire attack. Look, this is Marum too, and it smells like a kebab shop. It's all in here. There are strange things that move about in the night. Things we mortal men may not know what of. Look, that's it. I'm moving out. No, not what of that, mate. Um. You didn't need to give me a going away present. Has it? Come up and please. Oh, what are you gonna do with those? What? These are beautiful giant African land snails. That one's Speedy and that one's Gonzales. Where are they from? Class six, worth a fortune. In special daily care. And I'm looking after them for the whole weekend. But we're not allowed to have pets here, Tracy. Everyone else gets a chance to look after them. How unfair is that? Why should kids with parents get all the snails all the time? Yeah, the party's jumping here, CJ. Most exciting bit so far was watching Zach peel marzipan off his cake. Yeah, I'm right for tonight. Yeah, it'd be nice to go to a real party after this effort. 10.30 curfew, CJ. Not a moment longer. All right. Because I'm leaving, would it be like you're losing a friend? I don't see it so much as losing a friend as gaining a couple of snails. People at my party will be wondering where I am. When I walk out of it, I'm going to have a serious party. I'll invite everyone I know, and they'll all say it was the best party ever. There will be loads of going away presents. And then my mum will whisk me off to Hollywood and take me to all the Oscar parties with her. See you later. Bye. Uh, well, bye then. Yeah, bye, Peter. Dusty in here. Maybe my hay will come back. Hey up. All in bed. On their way. Sorry I couldn't help you. I've still got a stack of work to finish before I go home. No worries. I've got it all under control. There are unexplainable phenomena. Things that do move about in the night. Yeah, and I'm one of them. Right. You in, kids. Meet my new roommate. I've bought you biscuits, bubble gum, fizzy ones, anything else you'd need. Right. I'll be in his room. Fine. 
I'll be in the top bunk tonight, I think. If you'd just like to plump up my pillows, Maxi, and then you can retire. No problem, sir. Because I'm leaving, will it be like you're losing a friend? Peter, I've had this great idea. You could come back and we could run the best circus ever. Everyone would come and see it, and your trick would be the top attraction ever. Same. It's just, it was different, so I came back. How did you get in here? The window in the downstairs, Lou. Start there, that means something's finished here. Hmm. Wasn't this thing supposed to be on the top of the tank? Oh no, Speed and Gonzalez! They're gone! I promised on my life to look after them. What are the kids gonna say at school? Have you any idea how much a giant snail costs? Come on, you've got to help me find them. If you don't say anything. Speedy Gonzales. Oh, snail slime. Brilliant look. Quick. Let's get out of here before Adele comes back from the bathroom. I'm not going anywhere. Everything's wrong. Look, Peter, I know you're having a tough day, but help me find the stupid snails, and I'll help you find your way home, yeah? I don't have a home here or at Terry and Jill's. I'm staying right here. Oh, you can't stay inside a wardrobe. Why not? <laughs> that doesn't sound human. Ryan? Gone. I'd forgotten. Exoplasm. Proof of life from another world. Ryan! 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 You're right, there's no such thing as vampires or slimy speaks from beyond the grave. So why don't I just get rid of all this garlic and stuff and you can move back in, yeah? Well, I don't know. I like it in here. It's 
quiet. Ryan, please come back. Two things. I'll get the top bunk back. And you buy air freshener. Family size. First thing tomorrow. Deal? You can't stay in the wardrobe forever. I could. Look at Speedy. You can't stay in the shell all your life. You've got to stick your neck out. Have a look around. Do something new. You said the snails came from Africa, right? So maybe they ran away today because they really wanted to go home, where they feel safe. Yeah. Or maybe they've got all they need with them on their backs. They take their home, friendships, memories with them, so maybe it doesn't matter where they go. Listen to me. What am I, a social worker? I sound like a the pain. She's gonna find the snails. She's gonna scream the players down and we're gonna get caught. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll admit this is a little unusual, but there's absolutely no need for us to bring in adults at this junction, is there? Okay? Tracy, you are so up to something. But you saved my bacon downstairs, so let's call it quits. Thanks, I really appreciate that. <laughs> anyway, better be going. Ah! Ah! I've been slimed! Where did he come from? Speedy! Maxie? Zach? Ryan? What is this? Musical rooms? Adele? Where are we going out somewhere? Hmm? Tracy? Peter? Peter, what are you doing here? Right, I want you all to go back to your rooms. Your own rooms would be nice. Peter, maybe you and I and Mike should go downstairs. I'll make us a hot chocolate and we can have a good old chat. I know. You're going to persuade me to go back to Terry and Jill's. No, you really have to think about it, champ. I know. I'll go back. You will? Tracy was talking to me. She convinced me to go back. Wow, well done, Tracy. Tracy Beaker. Well, I thought you liked emotional reunions. <laughs> OK, OK. Just get on with my story. Cam, where are you? I'm going to be a bit late. I've been waiting here ages already. I'm sorry. Every time, Cam, every single time you promise we can go swimming, you come up with some excuse. So what is it this time? No, don't tell me. You're defrosting the cat. All right, be cool. You have to. A big fat nothing, thanks to Cam. Come on, kiddo. Back off a bit. It's not fair, Mike. I got up really early to do all my chores, and she can't even be bothered to turn up on time. Cam's not just there for you, you know. She has got her own life. I'm supposed to be a part of it. She knows I love swimming. Why don't you come over to my place till she turns up? I'll tell her where you are. One of these days she'll turn up late and I'll be gone for good. Then she'll be sorry. Justine? Ryan! Half this stuff is yours. How much more are you gonna eat? Yeah, you're a big fat pig with hollow legs. Oink, oink, clunk, clunk. Jenny lumbers me with this chore every Saturday. All my mates are chilling out in town and I get to hang out a load of manky underwear. They're yours, aren't they? <laughs> I'd rather hang up close and do dishes. Well, let's swap. Swap jobs. Feel free. Get in the gloves. Exterminate! No, I can't do this without gloves. I've just been doing my nails. I'll swap you my job. All right, you're on. What's yours? Changing my sheet and duvet cover. <laughs> Gross. Well, you win some and you lose some. Oh, wow! Not bad. My mum's got one like that. A bit smaller, maybe. 
What about this? We're on the way back from Australia. That was one cool holiday. Well, I mean, it was a bit too hot. And there's big hairy insects. Ugh. Just because I'm stuck in the dumping ground doesn't mean I don't get to go on holiday. Once, Mum and I stayed with one of her billionaire film star friends. We spent the mornings in her lagoon, the afternoon with her pets, and the evenings chilling out at her place. Cheer up, Tracy. It's going to be a nice sunny weekend. <laughs> and we got it cheap because there's so many of us. <laughs> Maxie! Want to swap chores and change Ryan's quilt for me? No way. I've only got to feed a goldfish. I'll give you 20p on top. They don't like strangers. What? 50. OK, a pound, and that's my last offer. It's a deal. Oh, do you want to play? Sure. And it's a massive tournament. Me against Dad. One day when he's not busy. What about your mum? She's always working. Yeah, mine too. What's in there? My den. Oh, wow! It's perfect! Spare room. Spare bed. Three, right? To stay over? Yeah, permanently. We can get your mum and dad to foster me. Wicked! I've got loads of scary movies. We can stay up all night. Yeah! Weekends will be fab. You and me would have a great laugh. And we'll be just like one big happy family. But Trace, how are we going to persuade them? We need a plan. A cunning and devious beaker special. What are you looking at? Oh, Maxie, you dirty boy. It wasn't me. Yeah, right. What are you doing? I swapped jobs. <laughs> Come on, I'll do it. But you've got to do my chore and water all the plants. Ooh. OK. Right on time. I'm in this quick. Oh, hi, Mum. Down for your coffee? Yes. That's nice. What, going OK? Don't ask. Oh, hello. Tracy, isn't it? <laughs> you all right? It's all right, Tracy. You're here now. <laughs> but whatever's the matter? work from dawn till dusk. But don't worry, Mrs B. However badly they treat me, I'll never, ever let them grind my spirit down. Maxie, that's Louise's job. We swap. <gasps> Wash out. Give me that. No, I like doing this job. Maxie, come back. It must be really hard for them being the only child. At the dumping van, there's loads of kids to play with. At least I'll never become an inadequate social misfit. Ben's OK, can't you? Yeah, I'm fine. Apart from being... what was it? I just know who love a brother or sister. I'm sorry, but you can forget it, Ben. I'm not going through all those sleepless nights again. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it be lovely to skip all the hassle? Just get an older child, say, um, ten-ish. Do you want any sugar with that? <laughs> Maxie! Let me have it, Maxie! OK! <laughs> ah. Organic cookie? Oh, thank you, Tracy. I'm fully house-trained. Oh, I wish I could say the same for Ben. I'm never any trouble. Jenny often says, Oh, very quiet. Where's Tracy? And I'll be upstairs cleaning my room. Yeah, boys are always so messy and energetic, aren't they? I mean, sometimes I think it would be lovely to have a nice girl around the house. Consider it sorted. Pardon? I'll mention your name to my social worker. I'm sure she can pop round in the middle of the week. Oh. Oh, no, no, I meant... In the evening, if you're busy working. 
You're a very nice girl, Tracy, but... Of course, you do understand you can only have me temporarily. You do understand my mum will be coming to pick me up very soon, after she's finished making her film in L.A. I think I'd better go and answer that. Zor, what has she done to you? I haven't done anything. You killed him, murderer. <sighs> Don't need this. Stuff in. Hi, Tracy. You ready? We're off swimming. Oh, lovely. Ben has his own pool, so he doesn't have to splash his way through all the unwashed oiks. Well, you'll have to come and have a swim here one day, Tracy. I'd love to, Mrs. B. Bye for now, Ben. See ya. One more move and you'll be grounded. Where's Ryan? Hey. Adele, as it seems that you and I are the only sane people left in this house, could you please explain to me what this is all about? Well, it's quite straightforward, Jenny. I was fed up with hanging out washing, so I swapped chores with Justine. And then Zach shredded the rubber gloves and I'd just done my nails and I didn't want to risk washing up without them. So I swapped chores with Ryan. And then, surprisingly enough, I didn't fancy stripping his bed sheets. So I swapped chores with Maxie and fed the goldfish. They do eat peanut butter, don't they? Anyway, it seems that Maxie had a little trouble with Ryan's quilt and Zorg. And so he swapped chores with Louise and watered the plants and the washing. And that's about it, really. Except Ryan's just smashed all the plates. Shall I pick you some more up in town? I left my stuff at the dumping ground. Oh, we can pop back and get it. Well, I thought you wanted to go swimming. Look, Cam, I'm really going to have to think seriously about my future now I've got offers. Well, how do you mean? We don't expect me to hang around all the time waiting for you to decide whether you're going to foster me or not. Look, these things take time, Tracy. You can't just dive in. Well, Ben's family are very, very interested in fostering me. And they've got stacks of money. I'll wait in the car. You can forget it if you like. You dragged me all the way back from Ben's house for nothing. Well, it's up to you. Ben's mum's got a brand new Jeep. I'm going soon with the cam. Great, isn't it? Give this to Cam, will you? She couldn't get any in town. Thanks. Oh, I, d I don't need them. I'm a fantastic swimmer. I love the water, and I always win every swimming competition going. People are always asking me how I got so good. Um, they're not actually for you. <laughs> You're not going to wear armbands, are you? <laughs> to come to this grotty pool, but you're doing your best to be a total embarrassment. I know I should have stayed at Ben's house. Yeah, well, maybe you should have then, if that's how you feel. Because I don't live in a big fancy house, and I definitely can't give you all the stuff that Ben's parents can. And what's more, I'm petrified of water, and I'm only standing here with Maxie's armbands on, looking like a right nana, because I know you love swimming, and I didn't want to let you down. Cam. Cam. You won't need the armbands. I've got a gold lifesaving certificate. If you've got in any trouble, I'd jump in and save you straight away. You can count on me. We can stay in the shallow end. I suppose we'll be going out with Ben's family then next week. I don't know, I'll think about it. 
Sometimes there are other things more important than money. So, you ready for the plunge then? I'm scared stiff. I'll look after you. Trust me, come on. One. Two. 